Hey, 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 it's Allison of The Allison Show, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make two types of bows. The first type of bow is this large, flouncy, fun bow. I actually have a tutorial for this on my blog, but it's easier if you just see it. You can use this bow as a bow tie, as a hair bow. I used it on my Christmas tree because I really wanted to pull in some black and white. The second type of bow is taking the same principle of the smaller bow and making a giant bow for your wall. Um, I used one over my mantle place, I used one over my advent calendar, and it's just really gorgeous. You could use it for holiday decorating or you could just put it in your bedroom because it's like the bomb. So let's get started. You hardly need any supplies to make this bow. All that matters is that your piece of fabric is twice as long as it is wide. I have a hot glue gun and I'm gonna start by folding my bow in on itself. So I'm folding it to the center, but notice I'm not getting stressed out about being too exact. And then I'm gonna take one folded half in and the other folded half in to the center. And now that's ready for some um, squishing, which is the technical term in bow world. I've prepared a center of my bow by taking a strip of fabric and hot gluing it so that the raw edges are turned in. Now I take my folded bow and squish it. I like to squish so that the loose ends are towards the back there. I'm just gonna wrap that around. And then kind of like look at it to make sure it looks good, it's perfect. Um, when working with hot glue, you're not hardcore unless you burn yourself multiple times. Ooh, that was like actually really good. And because I'm going to be using these on my Christmas tree, I have a little bit of floral wire. And you can get this at the craft store. And I'm just sliding that behind. And that way I can really easily wire it into my Christmas tree. If you wanted to make some presents for some women or little girls in your life, just do not, I repeat, do not hot glue your um, clip to the bow because it's going to fall off and that is so sad when you give somebody a present and it's crap. Use a glue like E6000 because that will um, ensure that the bond is good. They will be together for all time. Now I'm going to take the same principle that we used for our small bow and use it on this giant, gorgeous, glorious wall bow. So, I grabbed some ha-cha-cha embroidery hoops. And these are so inexpensive. You're gonna be at the craft store picking up your fabric. Grab an embroidery hoop. They're like a buck each. And this is gonna be the size of the flaps of your bow. So um, one embroidery hoop is gonna make one bow because you need two parts and embroidery hoops come nestled like that. I have a large square of fabric. It is roughly twice as long as it is wide, but it doesn't matter quite as much for this larger bow because you just wanna make sure you have about six inches of fabric on all sides of the bow. And then depending how big your bow is, that's how much room you're gonna to wanna to leave in the center. Think of it like this, you're, you're squishing down that center bow, so I'm leaving about three inches, okay? I am going to take hot glue and put it right along the outside of my embroidery hoop. And then I am bringing that fabric, making sure that it adheres and folding that in. Now I am folding my centers in, but I don't want these loose ends flapping about in the wind. So I'm gonna add a little bit of glue there and kind of nuffle that all up in its business. And same thing on the other side. Now we are ready to squish our bow. And I put just a little bit of glue on one end of my center. Burn your fingers, smush it down. If you wanted to make this more secure, cause like see how it's gonna wiggle like that? You could put a dowel or some sort of stick rod of some sort back there. If you wanted something that was gonna be a little less flopsy, mopsy and cottontail. So now I have some double-sided mounting tape. I love this stuff. It has never taken paint off my walls, even though it says it's permanent, it's lying.
And that's how I'm gonna hang it. Gorgeous! You have a, a giant bow that's gonna look really good on the wall. 